Many of you at the Greystone event recognize that Greystone is somewhat on a recreational basis, a golf culture, and some of you realize that I am not a golfer. The main difference between me and many of you is I have chosen not to demonstrate that publicly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> instead, instead um, my, my uh, passion is uh, shooting and hunting. And it really is part of a career goal, as a matter of fact. Mike and Paul and John and Mark have always said to me, Rick, we want you to be outstanding in your field. And so that's why I do that instead. <laughs> this morning, we're going to talk about people and communities that are outstanding in, in their field uh, as, we, as we talk about uh, Distinctive Service Recognition Program and the Greystone Diamond Award. The overarching program is Distinctive Service Recognition Program, and we have a number of communities who will not be recognized by Diamond Award attainment, but who are well on their way. Uh, and you will see on the screen uh, these communities who have accomplished um, uh, the top of their market in certain uh, areas. Um, the definition of, of a diamond is, um, or excuse me, of being authentic, and we're talking about authentic uh, recognition today is that um, uh, that it is real and genuine and uh, synonymous with the authentic diamond would be credibility, dependability, reliability, trustworthy, and valid. These are the characteristics that we're looking for when we uh, go through the Diamond Award uh, recognition and uh, testing. The Greek word for diamond is actually uh, synonymous with unbreakable. Uh, and I think that's also characteristic of these communities that we're looking at. It's one of the most valuable materials in the world. And it's created, as we've demonstrated before, under extreme pressure and heat. So when you think of the testing that goes into uh, the Diamond Award criteria, I think all of those are applicable. Another interesting characteristic of diamonds is that none of them are flawless. Uh, when you look at a diamond, uh, if you find a diamond that, that is uh, uh, presumably flawless, it's probably uh, man-made. It's probably cubic, cubic zirconium. So um, consider that when you look at these diamond uh, award recipients as well. Uh, all of them can tell you they've still got some challenges uh, in their operations, and they've still got things they're working very hard on, so trying to work through some of those flaws. Many of you have seen this uh, ad nauseum, the Diamond Award Matrix. I'm not going to go through it line by line or read it to you, but you'll see uh, a very um, uh, grueling process of going through qualification for the Diamond Award. And what is required is that these recipients have to hit on all of these cylinders uh, to qualify for the Diamond. Um, everything from resident satisfaction to staff satisfaction, First impressions, we we've talked a lot about hospitality. Uh, we do first impressions training and visits at our campuses. Uh, we want to make sure that the financial performance is up to, to speed. There are six different uh, categories in financial performance. And on down through the list, one that we added this year that adds another degree of difficulty is leadership development because we believe that is critical uh, to our communities excelling in their marketplaces. And so they've been graded again this year on um, their uh, adherence to an implementation of the leadership development uh, initiative. Further characteristics, I think, that distinguish these recipients are persistence. Uh, you will see uh, awards this morning for communities who have had numerous diamond awards, which indicates their persistence and their consistency over a long period of time which, as you know, in the economic environment that we've come through, is critical uh, to maintain. Proactivity. Don't wait. Don't sit around and wait for the next program to come. Take action and move forward with it. And I think these uh, recipients are, are very uh, uh, indicative of that. And progressive. Always looking for improvement. Never really being satisfied with how a table looks, with how a lobby looks, with how an entrance looks with how our employees are responding, but always looking for improvement in the w way that we present our programs is also, I think, a characteristic of these folks. 
The first uh, recipient we have, and we're going to ask our recipients to stand, uh, the, the executive director, and if there's an associate executive director to stand, as well as your, uh, your board members uh, to stand with you. Uh, the first one this year, Corency at Barton Creek uh, uh, qualifies for a single diamond award this year. So Nate Wyant and Tim are newly appointed uh, associate executive director. Corencia uh, is an SQLC community, and, and I didn't see all the board members standing. Some of you are shy and, in, un, in, yeah, and inhibited, I understand that. Uh, yes, Joe, you too. Please, board members, please stand up. You're part of that. Yes. Okay. Corencia is an SQLC community opened in 2007 and uh, boasts a total 270 units. And one of the, the, the very few communities, if probably the only community, to hit at one point, uh, a number of points, I guess, this year, 100% in all levels of care, in occupancy. So a lot of great accomplishments going there. And that first diamond among many, I think, for, uh, for Nate and his team. And Nate, as well as the rest of the executive directors, will tell you it's the team that really makes the difference. And there's a good picture of the uh, Corencia team. <laughs> Wait, that picture got sneaked in here. The, the next award is the Buckingham in Houston. And the Buckingham is, is also an SQLC community that was opened in May of 2005 and boasts 324 uh, units. This is uh, an attainment of a, of a step up from a single diamond last year to a double diamond, which again means more of that persistence and more of that proactivity uh, and consistency. Uh, and so the Buckingham is, is making great progress. It is, I will say, it is very difficult to move from that, from that one diamond distinguishment to the next one. Uh, and, and so it's a great accomplishment uh, for Julie and her team. So Julie Fenske and Todd Worthman, if you'd stand, please, and the SQLC board. You guys. Excellent job. Unfortunately, the SQLC board will get their uh, wellness exercise this morning, David, uh, in, in this exercise. Uh, also on the SQLC uh, platform and portfolio, Edgemere. Many of you have toured Edgemere. Uh, opened in 2001 and then expanded uh, an additional 48 independent living units in 2007 for a total of 467 total units. Uh, again, Edgemere uh, has multiple diamond awards. I used to try to cite how many awards each community has, has attained. I, I quit doing that largely because of my memory, uh, but uh, I can assure you Greystone, or, uh, Edgemere has had a number of Greystone Diamond Awards as well, which again I think points to consistency. It's very easy to fall back from a double diamond to a single diamond. It's very difficult to go to the third diamond. I can assure you John and his team are focused like a laser on trying to get to that third diamond and I hear a lot about it as I'm sure Charlie and the team do as well. So John Faldeen, if you would stand along with Bridget, Executive Director and Associate Executive Director, and the SQLC, one more last time. <laughs> Excellent job, as you can tell, there's, there's a very sincere focus in the SQLC family on qualifying for uh, Diamond Awards. So great job, John and Bridget and team. The next community is no stranger to the Diamond Award process, Edgewood Summit is our community that, that is, uh, sits on top of a mountain in Charleston, West Virginia, opened in April 1995, one of our longest standing clients. Uh, phase two opened in, uh, in 2001 with independent living, and currently we're expanding and undergoing phase three, which will be an addition of 20 uh, skilled nursing units and I believe 18 uh, memory support units as well. So they're right in the thick uh, of all of that. Uh, beautiful campus, and again, multiple diamonds. Um, Edgewood, uh, I believe in our history, Edgewood actually uh, underwent some of the pressure and, and fell back to a single diamond, and, and Diane 
stepped on the gas again and, and we're back at double diamond status. And it's a good example of that consistency that it takes to, to, uh, to, to maintain uh, that level over a number of years. Uh, and Diane and her team are to be commended. So Diane Gouin, if you would stand with Larry Crimmins, uh, Chairman of the Board. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much for all of your efforts.